What's going on? What's going on? What is going on, man? How we doing? Nieces and nephews, kinfolks and cousins. That's right. I love LA. Well, not really. Y'all love LA. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to like it. Every time I come to LA, though, I got to admit, business, LA is great for business, especially doing what I do. What's going on? They're making my eyes. Oh, I'm sorry. You know. Godfather undefeated. I know, right? So how y'all doing? Last night, I didn't get a chance to go live. Uh, you know, anytime I'm in California, I'm always three hours behind. So, um, but I will be going live on Instagram Thursday. Uh, probably like, what time is it? 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Eastern. So what's going on, nephew? Good to see you. I will be live tonight on IG, though. I'll be li- not on li- not on IG. Scratch, scratch, scratch. It's Wednesday. We will be going live on YouTube tonight. So, uh, yeah, in an undisclosed location, getting the work done. Shout out to everybody I met yesterday on Rodeo Drive. Shout out to uh, brother Kenyon Martin. Hey, man, how you doing? It was good to meet you. Um, I will tell you, man. It, it's I loved getting out in the field where the work is real, interacting with all the men, all the women understanding how much of an impact everything that we're doing is making you know um (laughs) it's kind of wild it's kind of wild talk about cam newton okay i'm going to speak about cam newton tonight um and a lot of other things because here's the funny thing okay high level when women have been saying what they want prefer or like that's championed is empowerment. When men say the same things, it's toxic. When a woman has her preferences, it's just called standards. When a man has his preferences, it's called uh, misogyny. Look, if what he was saying was so wrong, why are so many unmarried women so upset? unmarried women unmarried women okay what did he basically say know how to cook when did that become an insult I guess the same time uh, becoming average became an insult when did he when did he say learn how to keep your mouth closed well don't women want <clears throat> don't women want to know don't women want men to know when to speak up the opposite of know when to shut up is know how to protect. But they don't think about that. I want a man to stand up and protect me. Do you want him to keep his mouth closed? Or do you want him at the right time to do the right thing? The only women who have a problem with this are the women who want to be in a power position. And that's cool. You can get there. There is some beta bell noodle back dude out there who will let you be his partner and be the wind beneath his wings and you know I, I I hear this so often from women who who are these boss chicks I don't anytime I hear the words my truth I know we're dealing with the boss chick mentality fine be a boss chick enjoy But my truth, my reality, I don't want somebody to minimize me in any way. Understand something. Relationships minimize. Why? Because it ain't about you no more. Relationships, by their definition, have minimizations because they have boundaries. You want want a high-paying job? Guess what? It minimizes you. You want complete freedom? Carry your ass out to the middle of the desert and rough it. You'll be free like a mug. And then tell me what their freedom is worth. See, to, to our, too often today, we have women who want maximum freedom with minimum responsibility and minimum effort. Men, if men thought this way, we would still be living in caves. So, like it or not, the golden rule. He who has the gold makes the rules. And if Cam Newton was Cam uh, Johnson, if Cam Newton was... uh. Newton Cameron working uh, first ship down at the plant we wouldn't be talking about it it's because he's Cam Newton 
It's because he can call the shots. It's because he does what he wants to and has enough money and, and, and they can't cancel him because he has his own money. So I would say to the women who have a problem, what is the problem that you have? The problem that, that he said what he wants or the problem you want guys like him? That's the real problem. See, if it wasn't a dude, if he didn't fit the kind of archetype of the kind of man that these women want, they wouldn't care what he thinks. And I think it's funny, if you're, if you're upset, if you're hostile, if you're pissed off, if you're triggered, let me ask you one question, ladies. What your husband got to say about that? <laughs> That's a problem now, ain't it? What your husband, not your baby daddy, not your fiance, not your boyfriend, your husband, the man of value that your last name is his. The man of value that your last name is his. What does your husband have to say about it? And if not, maybe you're really not mad at Cam Newton. Maybe you're a little bit mad at your reality. Ain't his fault. Ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. All right, nephews. All right, nieces. Tonight, YouTube. Peace. I'm going to hell. <laughs> I'm going to get crucified.